What is this? We got the mix. Flavors that. Oh, wait. Mix. Mix or mild berries? I don't know, dude. I think. I think mix. Bro, I'm mixed. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pure. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I can't relate. I'm a mud. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Uh, back here with Sean. <laughs> I just got out of work. We're actually about to head to a car meet. Um, like it's kind of kind of April now, so it's kind of the beginning of car meet season. So oh God, it's already April, right? It's crazy to think that it's already April already. But yeah, car meet season is starting again, and this one is gonna be like the, this is like kind of the first big one to really kickstart the whole car meet scene in New York. So um, I'm gonna go see some friends. It's been a minute since I've seen some of them, so you know, gonna go check it out. Dragging Sean along with me as always, you know. If um, kind of wish he had his car still. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, let's see my house. Yeah, uh, it's like the meat is literally right next to his house. What flavor is that? I don't know, but these are a lot better than getting those gushers. Those gushers are too sugary. Right. Gushers last time, bro. I, I was gonna die. <laughs> I couldn't finish that. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. I just got to the meat, and you know what? You know what? There's a Miata. There is a Miata and oh yo, what the hell? I didn't even see you there. I was there. He was yeah. looking at me bending down. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like, it's like Jerry. Like, you didn't say nothing. <laughs> you didn't say nothing. <laughs> I'm just there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my bad, my bad. I was too busy looking at the Miata, bro. And you know what? Guys, look. There's a FC. <laughs> Right, I was distracted by the rotaries, okay? Wow. I think that's a pretty valid reason to be hey, distracted. Hey, at least we know his values are that. Rotaries. <laughs> Dude, I've been seeing so many like cheap FCs on Marketplace. Like, I'm, I don't know, dude. I'm like so close to just like saying, fuck it, buy an FC. Bro, like who needs an FD, right? <laughs> oh, shit. How you doing, man? It's Yo, been... I know I'm gonna be on the vlog. It's the homie. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you should get one, bro. Oh. You should get one. <laughs> Dude, you got a big can of Red Bull in there. <laughs> now, now that's relatable. Yo, that don't fit in that car. <laughs> All right, guys, there's like way too many cars coming in right now for me to keep up with. So I'm going to just cue the V-roll and, you know, you guys can see the best of the New York car scenes right now. Nissan Z. As you can see here, big opening for air to come in. Brand new Nissan badge. The headlights look absolutely dashing. Over here, you have sexy body lines followed by these nice mirrors that are wide enough so you can see up and down on the highway. Over here, you have some nice 19 inches. And back here, these beautiful taillights reminiscent of the Z's of old. Also, not, don't forget the brand new Z badge right here. Truly a staple of the car community. It's a beautiful, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was beautiful. I, I felt like I felt like fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, Forrest Auto Reviews? <laughs> bro, where, where's your TikTok, bro? <laughs> where's your TikTok? Plug it right here. Uh, right TikTok? Uh, I'll, I'll plug your Instagram. Uh, uh, follow, um, follow my car club at Musica Special. That's M-U-S-E-I-G-E-N Special. Hey, yo, you guys heard it here, bro. You guys want to see dope car reviews like that, you follow <laughs> <laughs> bro, your car is sick. Bro, like literally Bro, yellow FD, uh, 99 spec bumper at the wing. Jerry, nice to meet you. What's the name? Rafi. Bro, <laughs> he's got my dream spec RX7, dude. Damn, this thing is sick. <laughs> hey, look, um, look, I came out and I found a rotary and, you know, it's an FD. Shit. <laughs> 
You know, sometimes when I park the RX-8, I look back. Oh yeah, Rotary bro. Boys. Yo, what's, <laughs> what's you your name? I'm Derek. Derek? Bro, we tell <laughs> Bro, all right. This RX-7 gallery is the Rotary community, man. But what was I even saying? Sometimes I would park the RX-8, right? And I look back, I'm like, damn, that's a good looking car. But then you got this thing. <laughs> you know, I have, I have, you know, sometimes, you know, I always said that my next car is going to be the FD, right? Sometimes I think about maybe instead of the FD, I just get like a new ND Miata, right? And it'll have less trouble and everything like that, right? But after seeing this car in person, it's like, how can, how can I not get an FD, bro? How can I not? My God. GTR? Nah, I don't need no GTR, man. <laughs> Look. If you're picking the GTR over the FD, you, you're the odd one out on this channel because most of the people on this channel is watching for the rotary stuff. So I think most of the people on my channel is going to be picking the FD over the GTR. Let me know in the comment section below. What are you taking? Like you want a GTR? <laughs> you want the GTR or would you take a FD? It's pretty obvious who I'm picking. My god, dude. Guys, I really don't want to leave the RX-7. It just looks so good. It's literally the dream color and dream everything, bro. The 99 spec bumper with the 99 spec wing. I mean, the, the wheels are, you know, they, they look good, but you know, I think I personally would change them up, but bro, this, this is literally dreams. I'm about to like sell all my organs right now just to afford this car. <laughs> dude, this is sick. I don't want to leave, but we'll, we'll leave it behind for now. I spoke to the owner. He probably thinks I'm crazy, bro. He was like, damn, this guy going in. I was like all up in his car with the camera and everything. But, oh, man. All right, I'm going to leave it. We got to check out the other cars here. And, um, <laughs> bro, I literally don't care about any other car anymore, bro. Bro, like, you know, Porsche, fuck wait, wait, Porsche, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck Porsche. I want the RX-7, all right? You're late, Brian. Well, actually, you're really not that late. You're really not that late. Oh, you actually got a good spot. <laughs> Front visibility be like... <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, it is another day now and we finally have a sunny day here in New York City. You have no idea how long it's been since we had a day like this. It's been raining like constantly for the past two weeks, non-stop. And you know, finally we have a day of good weather. But literally after these two days, it's gonna go right back to another four days of raining. And you know, I don't know how long that's gonna last for. But we finally have good weather today and that's all that matters because today is actually gonna be the day of the solar eclipse. So I bought the RX-8 out here to the local Toge's. You know, I'm not gonna run it allegedly, but you know, I'm just here to catch the eclipse. I don't know when was the last time I ever saw one. If I ever did, if I did, it wasn't in my memories, but I think I, like every time like it happened, I was either stuck at school or at work or something like that. It was just stuck indoor and I wasn't able to see it, but I finally have the day off today. So I decided, decided to bring the car out here and just to see if I could catch a glimpse of the eclipse. Unfortunately, I am here by myself today though. Um, all my friends are just working, you know, I guess, you know, it's part of the adult life, everyone's working now. But um, luckily, I somehow got the day off, so you know, here I am. <laughs> I'm really excited and yeah, just driving the RX-8 here. You know, bought back a lot of a lot of memories of why I actually love this car. I know I went on a little tangent the other day about selling everything to buy the FD, but you know, I, I do really love this car and I don't think I'm ready to get rid of it. And even when I get the FD, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of this car. So, you know, um I think it was just the the excitement of seeing the FD in person and like literally my dream spec, the dream color, dream bumper, rear bumper, and spoiler and all that just got me so excited. I'm like, damn, like if I sell everything right now, I probably could get this car, but you know. I don't think I don't think that would have been the right choice. I know you guys would be sad to see the RX-8 go as well. So, you know, not getting rid of it anytime soon. There's still so many things I want to do to it. And, you know, I still got parts coming for the car. So, you know, no, not going to get rid of it. But as of speaking right now, the eclipse should be happening in about 10 minutes. Actually, nine minutes. So um, I don't have any glasses for it or for the eclipse or anything like that. So I'm going to be hiding in my car. I don't want to I don't want to go blind today. Um, it's going to be happening pretty soon. You know, I don't even know 100% if we're going to see like every Everything go dark because um, New York is not in the direct trajectory of the eclipse. Um, but from what I'm seeing online and everything, it, we should be seeing it in New York in about like, like I said, nine minutes. So I'm gonna hide in the car right now. Don't want to go blind. I'm not gonna be driving in the toge when it happens because you know the last thing I do want, the last thing I want is for everything to go dark. 
on me while I'm driving. So I'm just gonna be stinging in here and we'll see uh we'll see if we can catch a glimpse of anything. And yeah, fingers crossed. Alright, so a little bit anticlimactic, but uh pretty sure it just passed and it just looked like it got a little bit cloudy. I mean it still looks like it's a little bit cloudy, but you can see the sky perfectly clear. I wasn't sure if that was it, but then I saw all the messages from my friends. I was like, oh I think that was it. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more dramatic, but like I said, New York wasn't in the path of like the, it wasn't in the path of the solar eclipse. Uh, all the news were saying that we should see it partially, but I guess that cloud was it. But honestly, I would not have been able to tell a difference if that was just a big cloud, big puff of cloud covering the sky, right? So it is what it is. But while I'm out here, though, hopefully you guys didn't get your hopes up about seeing an eclipse on the channel. By the way, um, I, I it would have been cool if we could have seen it, but I guess I could have made my way out to like a place where I would have actually caught it since I did have the day off. But miss opportunity there. Maybe maybe in another four years or so, right? <laughs> but while we're out here, though, while we're out here, we're gonna just go for a little drive. It's been a minute since I drove this road during the day, so I'm not gonna go crazy. We'll set up some cameras and, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll enjoy the nice roads while we're here. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I've been out here during the day. I forgot how many bikers come out here, man. It's kind of, it's kind of being, it's kind of weird being here during the day now. I've gotten so used to coming here at night I'm so used to coming in here at night. Seeing it in the daylight just kind of feels weird. Oh. Just gotta be mindful of uh, oncoming traffic. That's why we're not really gonna do anything crazy today. Just you know, enjoying some nice roads with the sunny weather before it starts raining all over again. It's been a minute since I used the 360 camera as well. Whenever I come out here at night, you can't really use it because it's so dark and it doesn't do really well in the in the nighttime. Just gotta be mindful of uh, other cars.
best thing in the world. And I don't think I will lose anything by getting rid of the under tray. Like sure, like the, the that area is gonna get a little bit more dirty. I might just have to fabricate up like a custom uh, uh, potholes around here. I might just have to fabricate up like um. You guys can hear it, right? It's just scraping on the floor. I'll take a closer look at it once we stop here. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fabricate up like a, a custom under tray or some metal or something. Because it is just scraping along the ground. Guys, I was not kidding about the rain. Didn't even make it home yet. And look, it already started raining. So much, so much for the good weather, right? So thankfully I got to go out and have a little bit of fun before this happened. All right, now that the car is stopped, we could take a look at what I think is making that scraping sound. I pointed this out in a previous video already, but I feel like it's this under tray here. So this under tray isn't really meant for this Mazda Speed style bumper. This was meant for the OEM bumper, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't bolt on quite well. You guys can kind of see the gaps here where it doesn't fully line up. It's really hard to show you guys without lifting the car in the air, but you guys can kind of, man, can you guys even see it? But there's like little gaps here. And this thing is honestly just being held on by zip ties right now. So um, definitely not the best fitment. And I feel like this is what's causing all that play and um, sound whenever I just go at higher speeds. Let me turn on the flashlight here on my phone so I can show you guys. There is kind of just a big hole right there on the under tray as well. You guys can see how it's not fully bolted on. It's being held on by zip ties right now. Definitely not the best, but I feel like this is probably the culprit for all that scraping sound. So, um, I don't know. I think the best course of action here is probably just to get rid of the under tray altogether or or just fabricate like a metal piece and put that on there the only concern about fabricating a metal piece is i don't know if i'm gonna keep this bumper for like ever like i, I love the mazda speed style look right but there's a lot of body kits out there like the c west one or the feed one that i I can see myself potentially switching to in the future and I don't want to keep fabricating stuff to, I don't know, I don't know. This this requires some thinking and uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know about, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below though. But for now, I think the short term, the short term fix would just be get rid of the, uh, I keep wanting to say fender liner, but just get rid of the under tray for now. And this right now is how I stop people from reversing onto my car. Just put a cone in front of it. <laughs> Alright guys, you made it to the end of the video and as always if you made it to the very end of the video I really appreciate you guys for taking the time every day to watch the content all the way through I mean that every single time I say it so thank you guys so much for that. I really really do appreciate it <sighs> Man, I woke up today and I have not been able to breathe properly. I don't know what's going on, but Been taking a lot of deep breaths. It could be something with the um, seasonal allergies Maybe since the weather is starting to you know get a little bit nicer and we're moving towards spring But don't let this fool you though. Like I know you guys see the sunlight outside, but you know It's, it's about to rain like literally in a couple of hours and then over the next couple of days as well So don't get fooled by that Man, I need to get this checked out. Maybe <clears throat> But yeah, it feels good to finally have like good weather rolling along like we're just moving towards the summer and I'm really excited towards the summer because you know like I said I've mentioned this so many times before the tail of the dragon I've been pl I'm planning to go to the tail of the dragon this year and I feel like I bought this up enough where if it ends up not happening it would just be a disappointment so um, I really want it to happen this year it sucks that um like the original plans were messed with were like messed up because it was supposed to be me and the RX-8 and Sean and the Corvette, right? But I don't, that, well, obviously you guys know Sean won't be able to make it in the Corvette anymore. He might still be able to come though, um, just not in the car. <sighs> Man, something, something's wrong. But, um, you know, we still, we also got Jason with the S2000. I think he's, uh, he's going to be able to come along as well. I'm going to see how many other friends I could drag along with me. I think this would just be a fun road trip and I'm really looking forward to it. The one thing I'm not really excited about is the gas because I did some math and I think I'm going to end up spending like a couple hundred on gas. I don't know what the toll is like yet, but I don't know. It, it should be a lot of fun though. I'm really looking forward to it. And man, seeing that FD just made me want like to work towards that car even even more than I did before. Especially after seeing like the, the dream spec FD, right? Maybe I just got to go to the doctor. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a hard time breathing. But anyways, um... I'm gonna strap things up here. I'm about actually about to go. I'm actually about to get ready to go to work. Um, I gotta be there in about an hour. Or so, 
yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always. And remember guys to stay safe out there because because the road's a crazy place, so you gotta do your part to stay safe, alright? And until the next one, I'll try not to die. And yeah. <laughs> Peace.